Welcome back, everyone. You know, hidden by years of rushing water and open air, uh, and open air, I should say, a decades old mural can be found now in Dor Norris Dam. That mural uncovered just two years ago now by chance, and now we know it was actually painted by a renowned local artist, Robert Birdwell. Over the last two years, crews have been working to restore the piece of art. New here at 530, WAT 600 Year Side reporter Gabriella Pagan getting a first look at the gorgeous piece of history. And he would have been so pleased. He really would have been. This would have been a happy moment for him to see it. Oh, yeah. That someone, yeah, that really it's remarkable, it's extraordinary that people cared to restore it. Back in 1933, President Roosevelt and Senator Norris shared a vision to make life in the valley better. That vision quickly became the TVA Act. This part of the country was very depressed in 1933. We suffered from uh, flood damage. You couldn't travel the Tennessee River completely. Um, you know, it, it was it was rough to make a living here. Providing flood control, navigation, conservation, reforestation. Things TVA still does to this day. Things documented on one of Robert Birdwell's first murals for TVA when beginning his career as a TVA staff artist. And so when people would come in to visit, you could tell the TVA story right there. While not completely sure, it is believed water damage years later is what caused Birdwell's 1950s mural to begin deteriorating. It was covered up with a carpeted wall roughly two decades later, and that is where it has stayed for the last six decades. And I think probably at the time they weren't quite sure what to do with it, and um, that was probably to cover it up was what they saw at the time as maybe the best method to preserve it. It wasn't until preparations for the TVA's 80th anniversary that the wall was taken down and Birdwell's work was uncovered. When we first started, um, you couldn't even walk by without the flakes falling off. It was like snow. What you see now took 200 days and six people going over every inch of the wall two to five times over, repairing 120 bolt holes where the carpet once was. Certainly incredibly proud to see this, and I'm pleased that everyone else can, can, uh, can see these kind of uh, works that my dad did and, and see his uh, interpretation of things and, and vision uh, of what TVA was doing and, and, and how it might be into the future. That it would be so at Norris Dam, Gabriella Pagan, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Gabriella. And you know, the artist Robert Birdwell was born in Knoxville in 1924, if you didn't know, graduated from UT in 1950, and just three years later, he began his work as a TVA staff artist. Yeah, Birdwell's work has been displayed at six East Tennessee dams as well as several fossil plants. How cool! That's cool. All right, everyone.